I wanted it to be about now as much as it is about then because I think a lot of films about music are just reminiscences. But I actually wanted to get the opinion of this piece of recent history. This, you know, what this thing happened over 10 years before they were born. I think they were quite puzzled by a lot of what they saw. Strangely, I, th I think the thing that they were most exercised by really was, was, was not the music, but of, of Britain in the mid 80s. So over the miners' strike. Was it for environmental reasons or was it just purely like economic? That's a really good question. <laughs> Something they didn't really, really comprehend when they saw this riot of like white men in the countryside. The other thing was a young woman talks about social media and how that's affected people's behaviour when they go out. They're more self-conscious, so they're less likely to behave or dance or dress in a certain way. But you don't lose yourself as much because you just have to keep your brand going. They were amazed that there are no phones, basically. Come on! The first mobilisation of people after the strike is this acid house, all these parties. And so just the fact that it comes so soon after the strike gives it a political edge. The fact that the music is totally without politics, or appears to be, doesn't really matter because what it looked like to the government was something that was the problem. You come out of a recession and you have a period of, de of intense deindustrialization in Britain and so you have these huge spaces that are empty, factories, warehouses and so on, which are perfect places to put on parties. So you, you have this music, which is effectively digital music. It's made on machines, drum machines and synthesizers and so on, being played in spaces that speak very much about the death of industry or the end of industry in Britain. You have this, it's almost a crossover moment uh, where people would go into these spaces to socialise rather than to have a job. They would go in at night rather than at day. So everything has been inverted, basically. I think this music was more about the music than the drugs or the politics, frankly. I think what we, we tend to forget is that the music was really amazing. It was fantastic. It was super futuristic. It still sounds great and people loved the music. It was like the drugs were necessary for people to understand what it is to be human again and to like people and to like things. You'd had about eight years of a kind of rule almost where people were sort of atomized from each other and separate from each other. And so this brought people back 